I had this car up over my head yesterday. Okay, now we already discussed and we saw where, I don't, I don't know who makes this thing. It came from uh, you know who and uh, this leaking fluid. Uh, there's that hydraulic line I gotta take off and go up somewhere and, and uh, see about getting that replaced. So we'll be doing that. But then this morning I came out here and I discovered this. Now I've been meaning to change this. So uh, let's see here. Uh, wonder, uh, let's see, uh, let's see. Uh, let's look under here. Oh, you can't see the stain, but okay. You can see some of that. So this hose here, see this hose here? See, that's nice and dry right there, isn't it? See, you can see, nice and dry. This hose is leaking. See the stain underneath it? Now, uh, I was under this lift, and I understand it has safeties, and I understand that it's, uh, it's wet with oil. Uh, just about get mad. <laughs> so anyway, I gotta take both of these hoses off and uh, go get other ones made. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. Uh, hydraulic repair, I'll show you the place. It's, it's not but 20 minutes from here. But enough of this is too much. I just about had it. Okay, uh, this, this is three quarters here. This one's a little painful to get out. I'll show you, let me show you where we are on this thing. This arm comes out, which will help you. And you're gonna need probably one of these little crow's foot things to get this one off. So let's see how much fluid we can waste now. So, good golly. And whatever cloth you use, use paper and then, then get rid of it safely because it'll ignite. Well, let's, let's, I got the other one off. Let's go. It took me, it, I guess it took me about 10, 15 minutes to get these off. The little one leaking, one leaking on the little jack that rolls up and down the runways, that's an annoyance because a lot of times you leave your car up on that thing and expect it to hold. But the other one's, uh, that's a bucket of death right there. So let's go and uh, see how much this is going to cost me. Let's see, how much did the bearings cost me? Uh, no recompense either. No offer to, to cover the bearings or anything. So, all right, well... We'll see. You better do this, guys. My goodness. <laughs> I am deep, deep in the, in the heart of hydraulics here. Custom hydraulics and design. Uh-oh, I don't think I'm gonna park here in front of this garage thing. Okay, well, here we are. What a great place with a bunch of great guys. They have to order some fittings from Cherville, which is uh, in, out there somewhere. I don't know where it is. It was there when I was a kid one time. So we'll have to pick them up tomorrow. I've had to make three trips to get these hoses sorted out. And I'm going to put the new one on there now. And I'm going to jack up the car. I'm not this car. I'm going to put the truck on it because i got something else to do. And... Uh, a little windy today, even even over there where there's no wind. <laughs> so, uh, hundreds of dollars more. So that brings the amount I've spent on this lift after I bought it to somewhere around five hundred dollars. Not mentioning the labor, not mentioning the drive time, not mentioning the gas and everything else. I've spent almost five hundred dollars making this thing work. So. Y'all, y'all make your own decisions, and I'm gonna have a little ceremony here in just a minute too. So let me put this this new hose on, and uh, we will we will see. I hadn't got this one yet because they they couldn't get the right fittings, and uh, so I got to go back. Okay, I've used this lift maybe a hundred times in a couple of years, and uh, there you go. That's the way it is, and that's the way it is. Well, let's see if it works. Yep, 
that's about as hot as I'm gonna go. It's uh, time for a little ceremony here. We're getting ready to do that thing. I'll just keep you in real time here. Let's uh I understand there was some consternation about me doing this, so of course that makes me want to do it again. Uh let's see. There you go. I'll just use one of those. Okay, once again, uh let's uh I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna do this at the back later, but here we go. Make sure we're in frame for this because I want everybody to understand what's going on here. Uh, okay. It is blustery cold out here today, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to take it. Okay, so here we go. Maybe I can get in, maybe I can bump this up to 98 pounds. Okay. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't break anything while I'm gone. <laughs>